Hello everyone, I'm Candace Coleman. And I'm Jeffrey Wilson. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the Daily, Daily Mix. Mix. And uh, one word, Leo. Leo, apparently referring to Leonardo DiCaprio, who was the tour de force at the Oscars for Revenant, ladies and gentlemen. If you have not seen Revenant, this movie, I thought it was amazing. Um, the guy- Spoiler alert, he sleeps in a horse. He does sleep in a horse. Man, it was, it was just so harrowing, this man. I mean, he was- Oh, and look at Brie Larson, and there he is, there he is. And I mean, oh, it's like man. Facebook, it's like everybody. Did you see Kate Winslet? I mean, she I didn't was see just that. tied to her chair, and she just had such anticipation. And then when he, when he won, oh my gosh, I mean, she just went crazy. And so did everybody else, and the director. Yeah. I mean, that, I saw the movie, I loved did the you, movie. Did it you was, like it? It was hardcore. It was definitely hardcore. Like, the scenery, the setting itself was a character. Like, there was so much time, there was no dialogue, and then, you know, so many, it was just amazing. If you have not seen Revenant, folks, check it out. And, and you had Whoopi to, Goldberg. They had to mix up with Whoopi Goldberg. They thought she was, what was it? Yeah, Oprah, you know, that was kind of like going around, you know, Facebook. And I'm like, oh, come on, guys. I mean, she's so beautiful. Oh, and Sylvester. Oh, Sly. Everybody thought he was going to get the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor, and he didn't. And I'm just so sad because, you know, he was my first poster as in my, is my bedroom. Your and first I, like, crush was Sly? He was. It was Sly. And I, like, kissed the poster all the time. I was making out with Sly on the wall. Oh, there. You got you. Mark Ruffalo, the Hulk. I mean, you can't be that. Oh, did you see him in Spotlight? I did not. I did. I see. Um, it was uh, the Big Short. The Big Short. No, I mean, no, 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 no. He was in Spotlight. You're talking about Ryan Gosling, who was in the Big Short. Oh, that was kind of about the whole bubble yes, housing. Yes, the mortgage from, crisis. Yeah. That was heavy too. If you had not seen the Big Short, that's definitely another one to check out. Yeah, I mean, the Oscars definitely had its hits and misses. You had your little bit of controversy. Lady Gaga, though. I mean, her, looking her, fantastic. I mean, her outfit was amazing. I mean, and she and the, her song. But you know, the one that really got me was um, Kate Blanchett. And there's Chris Rock, obviously, Chris Rock. but Kate Blanchett, when she walks into a room, it's like the angels sing. She the lights it up. Part. Chris Rock definitely lit up the first 10, 12 minutes, I would say, of the Oscars with his interesting monologue. A little, little controversial, touching on some controversial subjects, but definitely relevant and needs to be touched on. We also want to jump into some other news and congratulate our friends at the Demetrius Johnson Charitable Foundation. This weekend, they celebrated the launch of their new public access television network, and STL TV was there with Mayor Slay for the ribbon cutting. Absolutely. Now, here's a quick message from DJ himself. Hi, St. Louis. Demetrius Johnson here to invite you to check out the new DJCF Public Access TV, Channel 981, on Charter Cable. The fun is coming to St. Louis City. Hope you're ready. And be sure to check them out on Charter Cable, channel 981. And guys, we wish you all the best. Absolutely. Now you can check us out here. What is it? Uh, AT&T, channel 99, and on Charter, 992. As always, we appreciate so much for you guys tuning in. And in other news, for the music lovers and festival goers, the dates for Lou Fest have been announced. Absolutely, Lou Fest will be happening this September 10th and 11th. So stay tuned for the acts that will be coming and visit loufest.com to keep up with what's going on. And let's get to, into today's Daily Mix. Passport to Recovery, a gala celebration benefiting Harris House, is taking place this Friday from 7 to 11 at the Four Seasons Hotel. Wanky! This year's Party with a Purpose will feature an India-themed night full of an eclectic array of sights and sounds, including decadent food stations. I love Indian food. Mm. A live video mixing DJ, interactive entertainment, and a variety of performers, including Cirque style acts and dancers. Absolutely. Passport to Recovery provides awareness about Harris House's recovery with responsibility programs that give people the opportunity to recover from drugs and alcohol by creating individual recovery plans that treat 
the whole person, including body, mind, and spirit. And to find out more about this great event and this great organization and the programs Harris House has to offer, visit Passport to Recovery, stl.org. Very cool. Very cool, holistic approach to recovery, I think, approaching the mind, body, and soul. Yes, okay. absolutely. So saluting those guys. And if you love help supporting community causes, make sure you support the Friends of Boys and Girls Club of Greater St. Louis. That's right, folks. Make sure you come out to their casino night taking place on March 19th in the Carmel Room at Bissinger's at 7 p.m. It'll be a night of casino games, hors d'oeuvres, live music, and so, so much fun. All proceeds from this amazing evening help to provide great opportunities for over 6,000 kids. The Boys and Girls Club of Greater St. Louis has provided much support for kids such as after school programs, summer and sports programs, Kids even receive on-site dental and vision care. Yes, now in addition to the upcoming casino night, the Boys and Girls, and Girls Club of St. Louis is also collecting bottled water to help with the just ridiculous crisis that's going on in Flint, Michigan. They're collecting water from now until March 10th. So if you'd like to purchase tickets to the casino night, visit bgcstl.org. And if you'd like to donate any water, you can drop them off at any of the six Boys and Girls Club locations or you can always make a monetary donation by visiting the website as well. And of course, you know, they, anybody loves money, so that's great. Well, of course, but it's a horrible situation going on in Flint. Yes, I tell you yes. who's cleaning up in that whole thing? The bottled water companies, man. They have to be cleaning up. But hopefully they get everything fixed up there. It's definitely a dreadful, dreadful situation. You know, and I live by 109 and Wild Horse Creek Road, and they still are closed down. They have a road closed down due to the flood. So, I mean, they're get doing Get it together up there in the D, folks. If games aren't your thing, however, but you still want to support a good cause, then check out the Gateway Chapter of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's 6th Annual Hunt for a Cure. This family event is a way, a great way, in fact, to raise money and awareness to find a cure for those suffering with leukemia and lymphoma, Hodgkin's disease, and myeloma. The Gateway Chapter currently serves 5,000 local patients and their families. Yes, indeed. Now, the chapter also helps those patients and their families emotional, educational, and financial support. The hunt takes place Saturday, March 26th at 10 a.m. in Queenie Park. For more information, visit lls.org slash gateway. Always fun at Queenie Park. Now, Slate has some upcoming recruiting events you'll want to mark your calendar for. Indeed, SCI Engineering Inc. is looking for candidates who are experienced in the construction industry or would like to get involved to fill their engineering field technician openings. The recruitment event is March 3rd from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the American Job Center in St. Louis County. They will be conducting on-site interviews, so bring a current copy of your resume and some identification. Absolutely. Now, business attire is encouraged, folks, and you'll also need to register with the American Job Center prior to the event. Now, and Driveline Retail Merchandising will be hosting their recruitment event at the Job Center next Thursday, March 10th from 9 to 11 a.m. Absolutely. Now, they're seeking candidates who have a driver's license and ability to work a physical job, including lifting up to 25 pounds to join their team. You can apply online at drivelineretail.com. For more information, visit jobs.mo.gov. Absolutely. Now, it's that time of year, folks. Yes, yes, more yes. than 60 players reported to spring training for the Cardinals last week. Currently, the Cards still have 39 players on their 40-man roster. Now, those on the roster get an automatic invite to Major League Spring Training, of course. But there are also non-roster invites, and those guys are invited for anything from needing extra guys to work out to being prospects the team wants to take a closer look at before heading back to the minors. Absolutely. Now, we will do our best to keep an eye out on roster changes as we move through the spring. But in the meantime, and in between time, it's time for the first Cards exhibition game this Wednesday against the Owls of Florida Atlantic, and then they'll go take on the Miami Marlins on Thursday. Now, you can follow all of the action at cardinals.com. And speaking of the Cardinals, former Cardinals all-star Jim Edmonds was in Jupiter this weekend, helping with training as he returned to center field. Indeedy, Mr. Edmonds gave outfielder, outfielder Randall Gritchick some helpful tips and advice about his position for the upcoming season. Now, we certainly hope yes. that tip and that advice affects all the boys as we hope to see them in another series, World Series, this year. Oh, I think they're going to do great. And every time I see Matheny, I, I mean, I've got like a crush. A big crush. Yeah, yeah, we have to talk about that. I do. I mean, Matheny is amazing, but I mean, the Cardinals, I mean, people on Facebook also have been counting down the days. The yeah, there's training. been a little conjecture on are they going to bring it this year. I don't hate to be, I don't want to be a downer on the Cardinals, but, but there's a little bit of... you know the Cardinals? I mean, they come, you know, right in the 10th, you know, the that's true. hour, when you, they when like... When you think they're down and out, they... 
bring it back. Let me tell you folks, and if you're into other sports news, did you see the Golden State Warriors game against the Oklahoma City Thunder? Did you see it, folks? It was a great game until the absolute very end. Oh my gosh, he was dying. They went into insane. overtime, and of course, the amazing Steph Curry hit another crazy shot that helped the Warriors to go on and win the game. The crowd went crazy. I mean, it was really nuts. The guy's not even hitting threes anymore. They're like, 12s. I mean, you might as well just give it. He, he's hitting it from like past the half court line half the time. The guy's a beast. But he's got the genes, though. His dad was also in the league back in the day. So, you know, he's a beast, man. And speaking of basketball, the Missouri Valley, Ath Valley Athletic Conference returns to St. Louis this weekend with Arch Madness Tournament. That's right. Wichita State, SIU Carbondale, Indiana State, <laughs> Illinois State, and more will all be in town this weekend competing for the championship title of the Missouri Valley Conference. Absolutely. Smurfly. Now, you can catch all of this action live at the Scott Trade Center beginning Thursday. For more information, visit Arch Madness. Com. And it's going to be nice to see everybody descend down into downtown St. Louis. Are so. you a big bracket? I know this is Arch Madness, but are you a bracket person with March Madness? I know it's a big hub of a loo, but. Yeah, you know, I really don't understand basketball. They go back and forth, you know. Well, I get the game, hoop, but just, uh, I know they're making a lot of money off it, too. The old Arch Madness, March Madness, it's, it's interesting, but, you know. I mean, so office pools go in. Oh, yeah. And so depending on, like, the bracket, yes. you know, I mean, so, I mean, this, there's a lot of stake. There's some dough at stake. There's definitely some dough at stake. All Check right, well, and in other downtown happenings, Soldiers Memorial closed on Sunday with a commencement ceremony celebrating the revitalization project that will close the museum for a little more than two years. Absolutely. Now, this past Veterans Day, leaders of the Missouri Historical Society and the city of St. Louis made the announcement and signed the agreement allowing the Missouri Historical Society to lead the multi-million dollar renovation that will create the state-of-the-art museum facility that honors military service veterans and their families. Under this agreement, the Missouri Historical Society, which also operates the Missouri History Museum, will be responsible for the Soldiers Memorial Military Museum. From the renovations to the care of the memorial's collections and exhibits, the city's Soldiers Memorial Commission will continue to serve as advisors. Absolutely. I'm saying that five times fast. My goodness. Now, the museum is expected to reopen folks in 2018. Now, you can find out more information about this project at mohistory.org front slash Soldiers Memorial. And you know, the Pride Festival, the Pride Parade was near Soldiers Memorial a couple of years ago. And it's kind of like living in St. Louis. You never go to the Arch. I really wish now that I would have gone in and checked it out, but I great always, job, I always occasionally like to just take a little stroll with my daughter through the History Museum. It's free, I and love there's, the there's a lot museum. to do. Lot oh, to do. Oh, oh. So, are you a fan of clowns? Talk between yourselves. Well, the Young Friends of St. Louis Children's Hospital annual event Cocktails and Clowns is coming up on March 11th, and hopefully you've already got your ticket because this popular event is sold out. Now, this cocktail party isn't just about getting your little swerve on and having a great time. It's about benefiting the clown docs at St. Louis Children's Hospital. It's an innovative therapy program that uses professionally trained clowns to visit the patients and distract them with lots and lots of humor. And since 1998, they've been relieving not only patients, but their family members and staff of the stress that obviously comes with hospital stays. Now you can find out more about the clown project at clown searching clown docs at stlouischildrens.org. Oh, and you know, St. Louis Children's Hospital, they have so many wonderful programs, and this is just indicative of, you know. I mean, that's a great thing, though, because it is a pretty stressful thing to be in a hospital with of a family course, member, for a, family, and staff, a parent, and a child. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. So good. Hats off to them. Nice project. And if you're still looking for a few things to get into, here are a few other things you may want to check out going on around the town. St. Louis' own Cedric the Entertainer heads home with a few of his friends for the comedy Get Down Tour on Saturday, March 12th at the Scott Trade Center. That's right. Now joining Big Cedric is Jorge Lopez, George Lopez, Kansas City native Eddie Griffin, D.L. Griffin, and Charlie Murphy will also be on this hysterical show. For tickets, go to Ticketmaster.com. Now, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but castles made of sand fall in the sea eventually. Woo. Now, that's Mr. James Marshall Hendricks. Now, if you're a fan of my brother like I am, make sure you bring yourself sweet side to the Fabulous Fox Theater next Tuesday evening for the 2016 <laughs> Experience Hendrix Tour. I am so impressed with you right about now. <laughs> the tour celebrates the musical genius by bringing together a wide variety 
variety of artists to pay homage to the late artists. Artists range from blues legend Buddy Guy to Zach Wild, as well as Johnny Lang and Kenny Wayne Shepherd, and so, so much more. This is Maybe Jeff hitting the stage. This is going to be know. sweet, folks. For tickets and more information, make sure you visit MetroTix.com or you can pick up tickets in, in person at the Fox Box office. And if you love Jimi Hendrix, you may love other great artists like the late, great David Bowie. Joining us this evening, oh, so like impressed with you, and culinary hungry. queen of St. Louis <laughs> is Liz Schuster with Tenacious Eats to tell us what's going on. And we also have Chef Mixalat, who lives at Kramer's Marionettes here in town. What's up, Chefy? I'm ready to cook. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Looking good. Love that shadow. Yeah, we look a lot alike, don't we? Yes, Can you, you see do. it? Can you I, see, I it? see it? I see it. Yeah. So, Tenacious yeah. Eats, gang, tell me, how, how do you get this going here? What is the... What is it? Yeah, what is your purpose? Okay. It's not necessarily a restaurant. It's kind of a... Tell, you tell us about it's it. It's a visceral culinary circus. You know, it, we're not a pop-up. We're not a restaurant. We're something completely different. We're an experience. Um, what you're going to get when you come see us is you're going to get five courses, five cocktails that go with each course. Nice. Ooh. Standard length film live band that, that opens up for us, um, all kinds of crazy fun. Our next show, which is coming up this weekend, March 5th, we're showing Labyrinth in David Bowie's honor. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Bob Kramer's Marionettes will be joining us nice. to hang out with us. Uh, Chef mix -a -Lot's gonna help me cook, right? You Maybe? You better believe it. <laughs> Maybe drink. Um, oh. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, each course is, the, is so it's it's done specific to the film. So there isn't anything that's that's you know what I mean. Like oh, this might work. Yeah. Right. I, I, I take days, weeks, hours to make sure that everything is kind sense. of tied yes. together. And I can attest to that because I've been to a couple of your events and they're just so much fun. I mean, unbelievable. So. How do you select the films and how do you select the films that go or the food that goes with the films? Is it more like foodie films or how did it evolve? It's all across the board. I really started with foodie films, but our fans wanted other films. <laughs> we started showing like gremlins and all kinds of crazy stuff. I started with really hardcore, you know, um, avant-garde food films. And it just, I, I want to say it evolved or, or <laughs> <laughs> the opposite way um, and it's really kind of grown into its own thing you know and and now it's it's such a celebration um, and we've brought in so many other artists like our puppeteers yes. um, our musicians our singers our dancers we've had dancers from stages st. Louis and awesome. we've, it, it the list goes on and on so every film is so different just like every menu is so different it's I don't want our regulars, and we have a lot of them out there, High Teats fans. Um, <laughs> I don't want them to have the same experience, right? right? So You were telling us about the Breakfast Club, and I know we're going to talk about the, yeah. this amazing dish that you have that you're going to be serving, but tell us about the Breakfast Club and how you incorporated uh, one of the courses into the film. Well, actually, each course was specifically written for each character in the film. Nice. Okay. You know, you've got the jock, you've got the princess, you've got the nerd, you've got the basket case, you've yeah. got the rebel without a clue. And they all had something different for lunch, right? Right. So that's how I designed the menu. It was just based on what they were having for lunch. And I, I just kind of spaced it out through the film. It worked out perfectly. That's awesome. Uh, we even did the weird Ali Sheedy basket case lunch. Um, with, with Captain Crunch and the <laughs> sugar and the bread. Oh, my gosh. The pixie stick. Well, what we did was we did a Monte Cristo, um, which is like you know, French toast with ham and yeah, jelly. It's delicious. But oh we used gosh. Captain Crunch in the the toast mix and in, in the uh, custard. It was awesome. Oh, wow. We even put a pixie stick on the plate. <laughs> I love it. And, well, so, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, so, no. Something you mentioned about the sure. food, which for me is someone who's very selective on what I eat. It's a huge sure. selling point. Like I said, you get a lot, if not all of your foods from, especially like your meats here, this amazing chicken, from an Amish farmer that you know, which is clearly organic, non-GMO, very clean, ladies and gentlemen. So right, tell right. us a little bit about where you procure, procure your meats. Well, we, we actually, um, I use a lot of local different farmers for different proteins, but um, I go to a wonderful Amish farmer in Richland, Missouri who really only sells to chefs, but... Um, I think my chef's had a... Yeah, yeah, you got it. yeah I bet you'll get it. Hey, Liz will put a good word in for you. Um, I get my quail eggs uh, from Rosalie Truong, and she has some beautiful quail meat that I use. Mm. 
Um, we use rabbits from uh, Richland, Missouri. Um, I, I, I like to mix it up so it's never the same. We get our beef from Richland, Missouri. Um, I get most of my produce. I can't wait till tomato season, by mm. the way. Right, when is right tomato check? season, by oh the way? Oh my gosh, terrible. not soon enough. <laughs> Um, I would say we're going to start seeing tomatoes probably a little bit earlier this year, right? Because spring's coming earlier. Mm. So hopefully we'll be getting uh, yeah. our, our nice heirloom, local, clean tomatoes. Um, I get those from Fresh Geese Farm, okay. um, which is in Illinois. So, um, I, yeah, I, I, when I started my own business, I made a promise to myself and also to my guests that I would only use really the best products I could get my hands Good on. Good for you. Good for and you. What, are, what are you making? Okay, so this is one of the it courses. It smells delicious. Yeah. My yeah. gosh, I'm just My like, goodness. Ooh. Now, I do have to ask, have you seen the movie Labyrinth? Yeah. I have not. I'm so sorry. He hasn't seen Labyrinth. I know. Oh, I can't right. believe that. Yeah. <laughs> but it, Labyrinth is one of my favorite films. It's a coming of age story. And I actually saw it at age 13, and that's the age of the main character. And it is this wonderful combination of not only David Bowie, <sighs> I had to pause after that, but Jim Henson yes. and Terry Jones from Monty Python. I mean, to me, the, and, and Shaka Khan, she's, oh, on wow. the, she's on the soundtrack. Ensemble cast. I mean, that, to me, that's like everything great in this world coming together. Wow. And, so and, we, and, and we, have, we have amazing puppets. You yeah. Know? I mean, this is, I think this is my favorite show because oh I get to work with Doug um, and, and Chef Mix-a-Lot and uh, <laughs> the rest of Bob Kramer's Marionettes. This is one of my childhood dreams. I this is, it. you know, like I, I worship Bob Kramer's Marionettes when I was a kid. I'm going to get a little choked up. But, I, but it's true. Like now I, I get to hang out with these amazing artists and, and produce these great menus. And what yeah. is this, oh, by the way? And the, then how can we get tickets? Yeah. This is this is, a, this is the second course in our film. This one is called uh, The Fiery Gang. And this one is a Sambal Alik chicken lollipop. Oh, Put that what, right there what? for me, Chef Mixlet. Make so sure it stands up. Lollipop, because it looks like a lollipop, of course. It is, and I was, just a minute ago, I was pulling the meat back from the bone ah, and just pushing it with my hand. Copy that. And um, I have a little bit of coconut. Yeah. Mm. And, and is that what this is here? What is yes, this exactly? That, not necessarily breading, traditional breading. But. No, it's, it's coconut and a little bit of panko, Japanese crumb. And then I have some garlic. Uh, Jamaican ginger beer, if, if you've seen... Um, Jamaican. Yeah, the scene with the fire. It's called the Fiery Gang, but the song they're so singing is called Chillin' Out. Like. So, you know, and like there are these creatures that are red and hairy, kind of yes. like us. Mm, and they're fiery and they jump around and they pop their heads off and they take off their arms and their legs and they jump around and okay, it's really well, cool. Liz, I hate to cut you off, sure. but I mean, your event, Tenacious Eats, is just an explosion for the, the, the eyes, the, the taste buds. How do we find you and how can we learn about your schedule for this year? Actually, if you go to tenaciouseats.com, you can look at uh, what's going on for the rest of the year. I will say there's one film that's up for sale in November. We are so excited. We are showing Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. In Whoa. November, November 19th, tickets are on sale at brownpapertickets.com. Okay, thank you, Liz. Thank you, thank Chef Mix-a-Lot. And so uh, check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. And drop us a line at The Daily Mix at stltv.net. We want to hear from you. We want to hear from you, gang. But that is it for today on The Daily Mix. But keep it right here on STL TV and Experience St. Louis. See you next time.